Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. Today it's a short video uh, about unboxing my new tool, toy. Both, it's a tool and a toy, but yes. it's pretty exciting. I had no idea what it was when I saw the box. If you guys, if you're, take a guess now, leave a comment down below, because this is, <laughs> I thought it was a T-Bot or something, I don't know. Yeah. This is called the Wusa Kao Cha. The Wusa uh, is the not quite uh, the place name anymore. It's a old, it's a Yizhu different tribes. It's an ancient kind of name. This is a historical, uh, the culture of how Yizhu people uh, drink tea. But this is not tea inside. It's actually a little. Uh, the the the. There's a cup. Looks dirty. I think I should wash it before I use it. And uh, a little uh, tea roaster canister jar. Looks like a teapot. Teapot. You can also brew. Uh, we're gonna try this out, okay? Uh, I got a very simple rundown of how to do it. Uh, first, I'm supposed to warm this uh, vessel up. I'm just gonna use this electric heater. I'll put that lower, right? 300, 500? 300, I don't know. It's my first time using it. I Supposedly, based on the box, it's really, uh, you can put that uh, in a uh, uh, charcoal, uh, you know, charcoal pit, like a campfire mm. or anything. It's a pretty high temperature resistant. Like you can tolerate high temperature and um, it shouldn't crack. <laughs> shouldn't crack. Yeah, we'll see. I should get some hot water. And uh, today I'm gonna use the uh, green tea. They local have their own green tea. Uh, they call it Wusa Kao Cha. They have their own, but I don't have that green tea. So I'm gonna at least use from the province Guizhou green tea. This is our latest arrival. Uh, it's a very delicious, good, refreshing pick-me-up, like a delicious morning tea. And lately we have been really enjoying traveling with that because when you brew this tea in thermos, it is so sweet. It mm. is such a sweet and you can just put boiling water. It's not bitter, it's not strong, but it has that, uh, it's almost like drinking honey water. Like it's very unique. That Difficult kind of to over brew too. Like yeah, really resilient yeah. It's a, so far, <laughs> I have to say, it's a, one of the favorite uh, green tea lately to bring in our thermos. So you can try that out. Even though it's still very good for guy one brew or uh, cup. Oh, there's a little uh, steam coming out because I we just uh, rinse the. Hot. I guess the water from the rings is coming out. The yeah, handle so far so good. Okay. It was just warm. I guess it's just fully drying out. Aroma? Clay? Okay. <laughs> it does have a clay aroma. I don't know. Do I need to dry roast that for a bit to get rid of that? Maybe the water is bringing it out. I wondered about that when I washed it. If you need to like, do I need to roast? Like, Easing, do we boil it in a pot for a while? Probably not necessary. Do I need to roast the cup? It should be okay. I don't know. I don't know. Hmm. Okay. I guess in case people have acquired one of these, to be clear, I didn't wash them with soap and detergent. I just gave them a thorough, thorough rinse and a, a scrub with my hands, my bare hands, just to get any factory dust Smell or whatever it. off. Watch out. It's not hot in the hand. Mm. Yeah. It's the smell you don't want to drink. <laughs> yeah, it doesn't quite smell like clay. It's more it has a It has a paint flavor. Yes. Yeah, I was going to say like, it's weird. Nectar, like a bit of a chemically industrial yeah. smell. Right? Uh, okay, I let, it, I let it roast for a while, but I still Think of the smell. I, I don't yeah, want to put tea there. Yeah, it smells a little bit. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Maybe it needs a little less. Uh, I'm just going to put some water, like a hot water there, to let it boil and see. Maybe that would help. Help 
I so I do the clean, yeah. I just rub that with my thumbs and stuff on the inside. Yeah, to get so the dust out. That's go up. Pretty smelly. Yeah. You're supposed to put it on charcoal. It's, you know, have that rustic, cultural kind of look. Oh, we could take it camping and try it. Yeah, yeah. It doesn't have a lid. For me, it was like, hey, if I put that on fire pit and without the lid, doesn't... You've got to be more rustic like those people. A little right. Actual kid. Does this I go? Would that be faster? <laughs> I don't know. You will have drips on the burner for sure. Oh, no, no, no. This thing should absorb. It's a pottery, like clay. <laughs> that's cute. I think that's the purpose. Now you can put that on a fire pit. Now it's more obvious. But yes, we finally bring it to a boil. Probably a rolling boil now? Is it? I don't know. It looks like an incense. Look at that. How it. Okay. The, the... Can you save it first? Not quite. Not boiling yet, just steaming vigorously. Wow. Oh. It actually, um, I don't know, the, the steam looked like an incense rather than regular steam a bit with that. The way it came up around the cup especially. Yeah. You can smell the pot from here now. Is it burning? Um, I don't know, but I can smell that same smell of the pot, that sort of, I don't know, it's not very flattering, but that paint chemically smell. Me too. I'm really surprised. It looks, feels, and supposed to be raw pottery and how it reacts for, with water. It doesn't look like there's a paint or something. There's cam maybe. No, it's raw pottery just on the field. But it's just, you never know, like different things. No. Is there a sticker on the bottom I'm supposed to remove? No. No. Okay. No, I understand right? your question. I know we had a good look at the whole pot when mm. you showed them the whole pot. There's yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, oh, yeah. it's rolling. It's rolling. Okay, I'm going to dump it and <laughs> restart roasting. Okay, take two. Better it's smell? Better smell, but still has yeah, that definitely. smell. Definitely. I think it's the outside. Are you going to mm. roast some tea now? Yeah, I'm going to get that uh, started because I want to see how that works. And... Um, Probably needs other way. There might be some the proper way of handling this pot when you first use it. But I didn't know. Let's just uh, try it. Out. When it talks about to roast it, actually, like you really didn't say, oh, you should do A, B, C, D when you first use the pot. On the other hand, if I didn't smell it, I might just have done that without knowing. And, mm. and smell the tea. Oh yeah, that's bean and peewee taste. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe I'm roasting away the taste. <laughs> Is it warm enough? I declare it's I warm, it's enough. warm enough. Yeah, I, I co-declare <laughs> okay. co it warm enough. Okay, let's throw in some green tea. Ay oh. Not on the burn, on one piece Several pieces out of my burner. Should be enough. Okay. I actually don't know exactly what I'm doing, so. Okay. Oh, yes, yes, throw them in. I was going to say, throw them in, throw them in. They already got a early roast. And they land on the <laughs> right? Oh, ayo. <laughs> I don't yeah, know. Is it nice? It smells really nice, like in the, just like in the tea room, like a, no, I mean in kidding. the tea regions. Yeah, sweet and that, I don't know mm. what you call it, but a tea aroma. Oh boy. A fresh tea aroma. Oh, that smells really good. Mm. In a lot of places, uh, um, like uh, different cultures and stuff across China or even other countries, they uh, have the tradition of give tea a little roast, then drink. I think we just figured out why, because it's so pleasant. It smells so good. And also, you know, a lot of the tea regions, they're humid. Mm. 
Right. And uh, after a while, the tea just barely have any smell if it's really humid. But now with the little roses, oh, oh that smells really good. Excited. Yeah. Oh boy. If you like roasting tea, or you never roasted tea, you should just uh, try that own pan or stuff at home to smell that. It's really magical, and you don't need a special vessel or tools. Now it's slightly have a little bit like, a, hey. I had to hurry up. I might burn that soon, kind of smell. Okay, I'm gonna throw in the water. Was that the pot or you? Both. <laughs> Mostly you, right? You made a sound. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah. Mostly me, okay? Mostly me. I thought me. the pot was uh, so hot. It... No. Silly goose. That's usually my job. It's a sound effect. So it's supposed to, what I heard was uh, put hot water in the in mm. thing, not cold water. So uh, that's what we did. Not quite boiling water, it's a 80 degrees, 70 degree tops. By the time I got here, 70 tops, yeah. Yeah, yeah. So it also accelerates your wait time as it doesn't have a lid. <laughs> you can see that's my ma the major issue with it, uh, no lid. <laughs> <laughs> I'm obsessed with this. Oh, that's a vigorous boil, even better than the first boil. Yeah. Ayoo, ayoo, ayoo. Yeah, it boiled pretty vigorously. Whoa, 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 we didn't see it. And it's at a 300. Maybe I should turn it off. Yeah, I think that's probably ready. Yeah, wow. It's not as a... Uh... Huh, with the leaf, it boiled more vigorous I than normal. I think the bubbles must stay longer a little bit. You know, with the pure water, they... I don't know, you're right. It looks so much more, like, violent than the regular water. Right? Really yellow gold intense liquor. Yeah, I'm a little bit of worried about the Lieberma. I feel like what I put isn't for boiling. If you're boiling tea, boiling tea, you'd better, uh, you know, put less leaf. But I think it might have failed. I can we'll smell see. the sweet from here. Oh, really? Oh, boy. Okay, okay. Time to drink. Since I'm off camera, I'll tell you guys I'm about... I'm about a meter, a meter and a half from the, from where, oh yeah, the, oh, the, oh, the liquor aroma is sweet. Corn, sweet pea, sweet corn in those domains, those areas, oh boy. Mm. It is strong. Oh wow, that is strong. But it's so sweet, it's so honey sweet. Mm. It has that concentrate of, it's a, uh, how do I say, like, uh, it's not just uh, the sweetness level is the honey, it also has that thickness level of a honey mm. sweet. You know, fruit is sweet are not so thick in terms mm. of the filling. Right. Because they're juice. I would I love this for morning. Usually I gravitate to black and oolong teas in the morning. But this one has plenty of, like you said, sweetness, but also some, because it's boiled, it's got some pretty intense kick. Mm. And this would be a good Oh, this is strong, but drinkable. It's totally mm. drinkable. It's not yeah. a bitter. Not at it's all. not over the bitter. It's strong bitter, yes. But it's not like a quick, only... quick, sweet cleanup. Yeah, and it's not just the bitter. The, the whole aroma, the taste is there. Okay. This is really nice. Really nice, I almost. <laughs> I almost spit up some tea. And I like this technique. I want to explore this a bit more. Like you yeah. say, maybe a little reduce of the leaf amount to dial it in. I definitely need to reduce the leaf amount. We also had to capture a little bit of uh, footage. So the we handle gave it isn't a, so hot. We actually. gave it a pretty severe boil. Yeah. Oh, yo. I put way too much. That's oh. the, the amount that even for a teacup not teacup like glass cup teapot. brewing is a little bit more <laughs> well that was fun that was really fun so i hope you have fun watching us uh uh test drive this new our toy. inaugural experimental first test drive of this what yeah. is it from roaster uh this is uh, from uh guizhou province Ningde, i think uh, or somewhere. 
If you like tea, don't forget to subscribe to our channel and give this video a thumbs up. Until next time, keep steeping. Keep steeping.